ओके सो द नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू क्वांटम फिजिक्स पार्ट टू सो इन पार्ट वन वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द ब्लैक बॉडी एंड द स्टीफन्स लॉ एंड द वेन्स डिस्प्लेसमेंट लॉ एंड वी हैव डन टू और थ्री न्यूमेरिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन इट इन दिस वन वी विल वी विल जस्ट डिस्कस द फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट ओके सो वॉट इज फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन वॉज द पार्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन सेंचुरी लेटर डेटाज वर कलेक्टेड ऑन थर्मल रेडिएशन विच शोज सो वट एवर वी हैव स्टार्टेड इन पार्ट वन इट वॉज अ पार्ट ऑफ द नाइनटीन सेंचुरी एंड बट नाउ द मॉडर्न थिंग इज द फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट ओके लाइट इंसिडेंट ऑन सर्टेन मेटेलिक सर्फेसिस कॉज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू बी एमिटेड फ्रॉम दोज सर्फेसिस ओके This phenomena is known as photoelectric effect, and the emitted electrons are called photoelectrons. Okay, suppose there is a metallic surface here. Let us say it is a metallic surface. Okay, so if there is a light incident on it, suppose I am incidenting a light, light incident on it, then what will happen? There will be some electrons which will be emit out okay from these surfaces so this whole phenomena this whole phenomena is known as photoelectric effect okay and the electrons which are emit out are known as photoelectrons okay is it clear to you now that means if there is a metallic surface and we are incidenting a light then what will happen there will be a photoelectric effect this whole phenomena and the electrons which are emit out are known as photoelectrons okay so we we all know like i discussed earlier e equals to h nu okay let us suppose it is phi okay so that means can i write it h nu equals to phi or can i write it nu equals to phi over h can i write it like this okay and we know lambda equals to c by f okay we know c equals to nu lambda this is the formula we know or nu equals to f is the same thing okay so we i can write lambda equals to c by f f now if i'm just talking lambda c then i can write fc okay where what will be fc let us say this is f c or f right so i can write fc equals to phi by h okay then what will happen what will happen if i am just putting this value here just put this value on here like this so what will happen lambda c equals to c by phi by h so what i can write lambda c equals to h c over phi okay can i write it like this where c equals to speed of light and phi equals to work function okay and hc the value of hc basically equals to 1240 ev newton meter if you put the h and the c you will multiply it you will get this value okay so these are the formulas we will be using in the numerical okay it's very simple so we we have discussed this e equals to h nu in part 1 right so we have denoted this with phi phi equals to work function and then h nu equals to phi and nu or fc is the same thing basically and then we have put the all the values and we found the uh, the formula for the lambda c okay now we will do the question based on it the first one is given work function of any metal 5.24 electron volts so work function can be anything it will be given to you find the cut off wavelength the lowest frequency and the c part so we will do one by one the first part 
y equals to h c by lambda. Okay, just see here. So I can write phi equals to h c by lambda. I can write this. Okay, and what we need to find? Find the cutoff wavelength. Or lambda equals to h c by phi. So we have the just the direct formula. So I will write lambda equals to h c over phi. And what is the value of h c? If we multiply it, e v newton meter. And what is uh, what is phi? It is five point two four. See, it is given in the question. Work function five point two four electron volts. Okay. So the answer will be two three six point six four newton meter. This is basically the lambda. Now the B part. What is the B part? Lowest frequency. It's same. We 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 know the formula C equals to nu lambda, or nu or f is the same thing. The frequency. So I can write f equals to C by lambda. And what is C? Three into ten to the power eight meter per second. And what is lambda? Two thirty six point six four into ten to the power nine. So we have find out lambda from a part. Okay, and when we will solve it, we will get one point two seven into ten to the power fifteen hertz. Okay, please check the calculations and uh, solve it by yourself. If there is any mistake, please let me know in the class because I am solving it. I uh, maybe there is some mistake. You can let me know. Now C part. If photon of energy eight point six four electron volts are incident on metal, what is the maximum kinetic energy of ejected photoelectron? Okay, so always remember when such type of question is come, then kinetic energy maximum will be equal to E minus five. So what is E? 8.64 electron volts it is given in here if photon of energy 8.64 electron volt are incident on metal what is the maximum kinetic energy of ejected photoelectron so 8.64 electron and what is phi what is given 5.24 electron volts so it is 5.24 electron volts so we will just uh, subtract it and we will get k maximum so this is the answer this is the answer the frequency and lambda is the answer so we will solve such type of question in class as well thank you